going from uh, 19 to 1 compressor pressure ratio in the 115B engine to a 27 to 1 compressor pressure ratio in the GE9X. This engine, uh, this is a picture of the engine that we have on, on our test stand in Massa, Italy, as well as the, the facility. And when you, when you look at how you're going to bring fuel efficiency in the future, you have to be able to increase that pressure ratio. However, you can't just increase pressure ratio without having the temperatures to, or the, the materials to withstand that temperature. So this is going to be the hottest uh, exit temperature of the compressor that we've ever had. It went up about 100 degrees. And we've developed new materials and powdered metal alloys so that it can withstand that temperature. If you want to increase pressure ratio, that's great, but you have to be sure you have the materials that can, that can withstand that. The other big material innovation that we have is ceramic matrix composites. We'll be introducing CMCs in the LEAP engine in the, in the stage one shrouds, but we're going to extend ceramic matrix composites in the GE9X, in, uh, 9X engine into the compressor liners as well as into airfoils, into additional parts of the, of the high pressure turbine. This these materials are really giving us uh, a state of the art change. They are uh, a third the density of the traditional metal alloys that are used. They're twice the strength and 20% better thermal capability. So less cooling flow is needed uh, to cool the, the, the back stages of the, of the turbine. When you do that, that provides a more efficient engine and more, uh, more air that's used to create the thrust that's, that's needed. Uh, one thing to point out here is that our full full blown demonstration engine is one of, for CMCs is going to happen this year through NGENX. So we're scaling all the parts for CMCs uh, that we're looking at for the GE9X, and they're going to be put in a, in a GENX engine for full blown demonstration this year. And finally, if you look at what we think is differentiating our, our technologies and the wide body engines for the next 10 years, it's really summarizing the final and the bottom charts. And it's exclusive technologies that we think that we can bring. We're bringing a 10% better fuel burn to the, to the, to the airplane, a 5% better SFC than any uh, engine that's going to be in service. And we do that with five key technologies. Number one is the composite fan blades. We've got plenty of history with composites. We've further advanced those to the 16 fan blades I talked to earlier. Number two is the 27 to 1 compressor pressure ratio uh, compressor that we have. Number three is the, t the materials that go into that compressor and to be sure that we can withstand the 27 to 1 uh, pressure that we have and the temperatures associated with it. Uh, we're the only engine manufacturer lead of working in a, a lean burn combustion. This will be our third generation lean burn combustion that's going to be in service. The GNX engine was the first, followed by the lead. This will be our third. And our fifth technology is the ceramic matrix composites, where I mentioned about the cooling. So these four technologies along with the materials for our com compressor are where we think are going to differentiate our engines in the future. So in summary, we feel like we're well positioned for the future in, in, in the twin eye wide body engines. Uh, we, our stall base continues to grow. We're up 35% by 2020. Uh, our pace of new products is substantially different than it used to be. In, uh, the, in the 2000s, we had like three or four new products. We're looking at nine additional new products just in this decade. We have the best fuel burn on it with the GNX and the 787 in service today. Uh, we've got the, the 9X engine development as well underway. Uh, as I mentioned, the compressor tech, uh, testing is, is ongoing today. The testing of CMCs begins in 2014, and we really feel that the 9X is going to completely differentiate fuel efficiency for the 2020 